Welcome back YouTube, Hog here. Welcome to another great edition of How Does That Work? This one we're going to cover the Battle Log, which is the mobile slash second screen app for Battlefield 4. And while this is loading up, I'm going to want to go ahead and throw a shout out to the guys over at Reflector. Hooked me up with a copy of this awesome software, which allows me to broadcast what's going on on my iPhone to my desktop. And you can find a link to them in the description. 13 bucks, great software. If you're looking to do something like this, guys, I highly recommend it. Alright, now that we're into the app, you'll see right here that we at the top we have the, the top news issues. You can go ahead and scroll through those. Underneath that, we have a, a quick link to your character and your track missions, the multiplayer and loadout, which we'll touch on in a second. Also the battle feed, where your friends and stuff are going to share their games and recent activities and such. You can get to your friends over here on the right hand side. You can see that my friends are there. And now over here on the left hand side, this is really the meat and potatoes of the app here. We got the whole multiplayer campaign, missions, leaderboards, forms, everything you need to do is right here on the app. Okay, and then you'll see the, the soldier. You click the down arrow, and it'll bring up your stats, reports, unlocks, so you can look at all that stuff in right here that you can see in game right here on your second screen. You can do all this while you're playing, so it's super handy. And one of the greatest things about this app that I use all the time is going to be the loadouts you can edit your loadouts right in the middle of a game, right in the middle of a, a fight. You know, you don't have to mess with the with the in-game menus. And like right here, we're going to go ahead and change the Scar H. Let's see, we'll take the AK-12. And you'll see up at the top it says save. You'll click save. Loadout saved. And if you're in-game, up in the upper right-hand corner of the game, will say a new loadout has been saved. So it's actually really good. Another thing I really like to use on this is going to be the multiplayer and that brings up your server browser. As you can see, it's all the servers. You can create your own filters with it. And I think it's a lot more handy than it is in game uh, than the in-game one. Then let's just say we click on this server. And if I was connected, I would say join on 360, and it would just right there right then and there my game would start loading and connecting to that server. So it's awesome. Guys, I highly recommend this app. It's super useful especially with the menu systems. It seems like the menus in Battlefield 4 and the console was, you know, more or less the same as the PC ones. That They would work great on PC. They're a little bit clunky on console, but this app makes it worth it. Alright guys, have a great day. Thanks for coming out. Don't forget to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. Hog out.